Hello and welcome to a new series of English tips. Last year I made a series of videos for English learners and it gained some interest but not a lot. Anyhow, I've decided this year to restart making videos for language learners, so it's great to have you here. In this very first episode of this year, we're going to be looking at asking polite questions in English. If you ask questions directly, you may appear to be a bit rude and inconsiderate. So it's so important to try and ask questions correctly. So I hope this video helps you sound more natural and more polite when speaking English. There are some basic phrases which could help you when you ask questions politely. These could include, do you know where? Could you tell me what? I don't know who? Or do you have any idea when? All you have to do is change the question word in this form. So for example, if you have a direct question as, what time is it? You could ask, do you know what time it is? If you ask, who are those people? You could say, I don't know who those people are. You could also ask, where can I find Susan? And you could change this to, could you tell me where Susan is? The question, how much will it cost? You can change this to, do you have any idea how much it will cost? Now, the important thing here to notice is that the auxiliary verb and the subject switch over when using these phrases. You need to be careful with questions that include do, does or did. Have a look at the following examples and the changes that could occur. The first example, what time does the game start? This changes to do you know what time the game starts? Not do you know what time does the game start? So the does is removed in the phrase. The second example, what do you mean? This changes to could you tell me what you mean? Not could you tell me what do you mean? And the third example, why did she leave early? You could change this to, I don't know why she left early. Not, I don't know why did she leave early. In each example, the verb do, does or did, this is not included in the more polite form. So don't forget this, otherwise it may just sound a little unnatural or unsuitable. Finally, we use if or whether when there's no question word, such as what, when, where, etc. If you have a question of is it, do you, did you, you could use this phrase, do you know if or do you know whether. So for example, did anybody follow you? You could change this to do you know if anybody followed you? Or do you know whether anybody followed you? It is that simple when you're creating polite question forms in English. I'm going to give you a few sentences to practice and um, I'm going to show you some basic direct questions and I want you to change the questions into more polite forms. You could write your answers in the comments below and Feel free to pause the video whilst I show each individual direct question. If you have any questions yourself, or you would like to ask me a question politely, then please do. It would be great to hear from you. And have a lovely week and happy learning.